What's going on guys, my name's Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new Black Ops 6 Zombies video. So in a recent video where I covered the strategy I've been using to level up as fast as possible, one of you dropped a comment with a strategy that just might be better. Now I made a few slight adaptations to this to maximize just pure XP over camo efficiency. But yeah, shout out to Squirrel EMT. Also this strategy involves purchasing the GS45 off the wall and a lot of you were confused as to how you can set a wall buy in Zombies. To do this, simply head over to your loadout, build out the weapon you're planning on buying off a wall, hover over the weapon and tap LT on Xbox, L2 on PS5, or 1 on PC to set zombies build. Before we get into the strategy, I just quickly want to thank the sponsor of today's video. If you want to unlock the brand new Dark Matter, Abyss, and Nebula camos in Black Ops 6, or grind them extremely quickly in easy lobbies, be sure to check out Mitch Cactus. They're the biggest and most reliable in Call of Duty, which will help you grind out weekly events, camos, and unlocks completely legit legitimately for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Enjoy highly discounted COD points at up to 80% off and lightning fast delivery. Use code HYPNO for 5% off. Alright, so we made it to Liberty Falls. First things first, we're going to activate that Rampage Inducer because the goal here is to zoom through the first few rounds as fast as possible. Actually, through all the rounds, as a matter of fact. So let's just come over here, get some extra Zombros to spawn in from this old motel room. There we go. We're currently using the Marine SP. I do have a few more camos to unlock on this thing, so thought we might as well. And of course, it's a great gun for the early rounds, but we will be buying the GS45 off the wall here. I'm pretty sure I threw something up in the intro on how to do that. I've received so many questions as to how to set wall buys. So yeah, hopefully that clarifies things for you guys. So there we go, already on to round two. So we're just going to chill in this spawn area until like round five or six. And uh, then we'll make our way over to the church. Ooh, there we go. By the way, if you end up getting a double points while you're in the spawn area, definitely open this door if you have the essence for it and um, go for the bonus points Easter egg. So let's just see if we can maybe... Yeah, no way, we're getting it in time. Oh, I just barely made it. <laughs> okay, all good. Got the bonus points at least. Also, if you sit in this spot right here, you're actually going to have some crazy fast spawns for the first few rounds. And of course, the spider waves go by super quick by just sitting in the corner up ahead. I'll show you guys that once we get to a spider round. Oh, damn. She ain't one shotting no more, boys. Ooh, yeah. I mean, definitely prefer the ASG over this thing. She's all right. Don't get me wrong, but <laughs> if I'd have to pick between this and the ASG, there's a clear winner. And there's a reason why the ASG is already gold and this thing isn't, <laughs> trust me. But yeah, using a gun that you need camos for or a few levels for definitely helps out for the early rounds because you might get a few camo unlocks with the headshots, which just adds to the overall XP. But once again, this isn't a camo grind strategy. This is mainly just for prestiging as fast as possible. Ooh, and there we go, a little spider round. So we're just going to chill in this little spot here and maximize the spider spawn rate. So let's just crouch, look forward, and there we go. Look at that. Bet some of y'all didn't know that. Look at that. So fast. I swear, bro. Nothing beats this spot. Okay, so we're on round six now. Let's open this door, and we're going to run all the way to the top of Washington Avenue right here. In theory, we could even get the next door opened up, so might as well. And now we're just going to chill in front of the church until we have enough money to open up the first door and get our GS45s packed. Okay, there we go on round seven. Got the first door open up and we have enough essence for Pack-A-Punch. So let's go for that quickly. Okay, so we got the GS45 packed now, but there's one issue. You take explosive damage if you don't have PhD Flopper. So now the next objective is to make our way back over to the bank, get that door opened up so we have access to Jug as well. And then we're just going to run over to phd and grab that but um yeah we're definitely gonna buy phd flopper before we get jug so swap over to our opal bat you know just casual flex here boys you know nothing nothing major nothing major yoink there we go got phd flopper and we now don't take any explosive damage so that's absolutely huge when you're using the mustang and sally it's a must-have honestly there is no other way you can use this thing okay so we might as well just chill here for a second Get through this round. There we go. I actually got a nuke there. If you can avoid those, definitely do. We kind of just accidentally slid into that. So now all we're going to do is make our way back over to the cemetery. We could actually grab Jug real quick. There we go. So just make your way over to the cemetery and take this step right here. 
and we're gonna be chilling on the bank roof and there we go boys we are about six and a half minutes in and we're already set up and in our little spot here so pretty much all you do is chill in this back left side of the roof here and smoke all the zombies coming your way whenever you have enough salvage to upgrade your gun guess what there's a little arsenal right here so you know get this get this upgraded we'll slap on napalm as well definitely get this opened up this is kind of like a safety exit i like to refer to it as in case it gets too crowded you can always drop down make a circle around get back to the church take the zip back across and you'll be good to go okay so we did run out of ammo guess what though there's an ammo box right back here thousand essence which is no biggie there we go a little max ammo as well let's just burn through some ammo don't want to waste the max ammo there we go spawn in zombros let's get to the next round <laughs> before this despawn oh, it's a spider round you're kidding me <laughs> okay so whenever there's a spider round you could stay up here but personally i find you get the fastest spawns in this spot still so yeah this right here is definitely the play and as soon as it transitions from a spider round back to a normal round just run back up to the zip go back to the roof and uh chill up there but yeah i mean boys just look at this this is insane i did try the motel strat that works as well but i still find that you get faster spawns for spiders over here i mean just look at how fast we cleared that round bro you can't make this up all right let's run back to the zip yeah you don't like that do you zombros don't jano something just fine about zipping across and shooting zombies below you i swear especially like you're playing duos you take that zip and like your homies training zombies right there he's got like 50 of them on you just shoot down a little bit with the gs 45s Oof, so fun there we go got a nice little train on us let's clear these boys out also also this spot works great for camo grinding if you're just chilling back here because they kind of all funnel in on this direction so you can just aim up and like clear them all out while getting a bunch of critical kills so yeah definitely a good play for camo grinding oh do i hear a mangler yes i do but you know what no biggie look at that just absolutely smoked him let's get back in our spot here and boom so yeah as you guys can see we are just going through these rounds like crazy the last strategy spot was over in the spawn location which works really well as well but i find that with this strategy i usually get to round 31 like five four or five minutes earlier it's nothing major but i mean if you're trying to maximize the amount of xp you're gaining per hour this spot definitely works i do have one other location but i think i'll make a separate video on that because the setup's a bit different for it but um yeah you'll see we totally just slid into that one but you know it's, it's all good it's all good so uh yeah the other spot works as well but it's a bit of a different setup for it so that's why I'm not going to include it in this video. But if you guys are interested in that, then go ahead and drop a comment below as well. And uh, it actually works as a high round strategy as well. This spot up here works too, of course. There's a few people going for around 999 by sitting in this spot here with the Thrustodyne. But yeah, we're still on the camo grind. So there's no point really going for like super high rounds or anything. Also, there's a bit of debate as to whether going to round 21, or uh, 26 rather, gives you more XP per hour than going to 31. Honestly, in my personal experience, it's about the same, but of course, going to round 31 is better if you're on the camel grind, because you'll get more headshots. There's, you know, more zombie spawns, so effectively you'll get more headshots per hour. So you'll get gold a bit quicker, but I mean, XP rates are about the same. So I definitely recommend expelling at 26 over 31 because you'll get back in the game quicker and like set up quicker again. So yeah, All right, let's test out the spider round up here so you guys see what I mean. You still get decent spawns as you can see, but nothing crazy. I mean, it's not as good as that spot below. Definitely not. But then, of course, you kind of need to consider that if you do drop down to that spot, you need to run back up and take the zip. So, I mean, in the end, it's probably about the same, I'll be honest. So just for comfort, you might as well chill up here and just only leave the roof whenever you want to pack or something. We actually have more than enough essence to pack, but GS45 is still doing good. 
And by the way, when you exfil, apparently the extra essence you have on you gets converted to XP. Of course, it's not one to one, which means like, you know, 100,000 essence isn't going to equate to 100,000 XP, but I'm guessing it's like a 10% conversion rate or something, which would still be decent if it's a 10% even. It might be less than that, though. There we go. On to round 18. Another mega abomination. There we go. Already destroyed a face. You just get back in our spot. Beautiful. So yeah, we are just absolutely smoking these zombies. And as you can see, it's not really too hectic up here. I mean, we never had to drop down. If it gets too crowded, you can literally just run along the side here. Turn around, kill some more zombies. Just make, you know, nice little lap around the roof. And you should be good to go. Just two zombies left. Might as well take that. A little double points there as well. There we go. Come on, Abomination. Oh, huge. No. Yeah, no, we are not doing enough damage with that thing. Holy. All right, let's bring that selfie. All good, all good. There we go. Grab that. Keep smoking these Zombros. Huge. Let's get back over to this side here. Ooh, we lost Jug on that death, actually. Damn. All good. We'll get it back here in a second. You could also wait for uh, the Wonder Fist to spawn in at 25 in theory, but because we're expelling at 26, there's, you know, there's no point waiting that long. And of course, it's better not to take any risks. Let's be honest here. <laughs> Just that Mangler left and a Crawler. There we go. All right. Let's grab Jug. Let's go. Okay, actually, and you know, we're low on ammo, so might as well quickly go get pack two since we're back here. And just to play it safe, we'll also grab a three plate. Nice. Let's take the zip back. Ooh, 15 minutes in and we are already at round 20. That's insane. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, another mangler right there. Bro got absolutely smoked. Huge. I mean... Just look at the Mustang and Sally go. That's insane, dude. <laughs> Just so satisfying. Let's go. On to round 21 already. And we can actually upgrade this bad boy again to purple. Nice. Another Mangler right there. Already dead, bro. Let's see what we got for our Gobble Gum. Who's keeping score? That too, of course. With a strategy, you're going to be getting a bunch of Gobble Gums, man. And I strongly recommend saving those Gobble Gums up for the next map that drops. Because we don't know what the Easter Egg there is going to entail. So having those extra Gobble Gums might just help out. You never know. You never know. Just a suggestion, boys. Just a suggestion. Bro, where's that last? Oh my god, he was behind us. There we go. Got max ammo as well. Didn't even have to buy more. Huge. I'm telling you, we've just been zooming through the levels with this strategy right here. Probably going to be hitting Prestige 6 by the end of the day, really. There we go. A little Mega Bomb right there. Might as well use this quickly. Do some extra damage to him. And it's spider round. Okay. No biggie, no biggie. And we got a little Chopper Gunner right there for our guaranteed exfil. Solid. All right, let's chill back here. Take out these uh, few vermin. Also, if you're on the opal grind, this strategy right here is perfect. Because you can use this strat to get to like the 40s, early 40s, mid 50s even. If you push push your luck a little bit, you might be walking on thin ice there though. I'll be honest with you. Because, yeah, definitely want to have like the thrusted iron and stuff at that level. But, but you will have a bunch of manglers spawning. So for your secondary, you can use whatever gun you need the opal camo for. Just keep using your sallies to clap zombies, and whenever manglers spawn in, just swap over and get the kill. So, uh, yeah, definitely a nice opal strat up here, too. Ooh, a little wonder fizz right there, don't try you know, might as well grab a couple perks. <laughs> Huge. Oh, man. Let's go. Jeez, man. <laughs> That's absurd. Alright, let's see how long we've been recording. 20 minutes and 35 seconds, which includes some time in the pregame lobby and whatnot, so... Yep. I should definitely, like, throw up a timer or something with one of these strategies and start, like, comparing XP rates, how many minutes off on each, and... Yeah. Just get into the details with you boys. Oop, out of ammo. There we go. Let's 
call the Ether Shroud quickly. Oh my god. We're just a menace right now. Honestly. This ain't even fair. <laughs> I think the Mega dropped down, no? Yeah, yeah, he definitely did. Still alive. I was hoping he might be dead there. Alright. There we go. On to round 27. Yeah, we'll go until round 31 because we are just zooming through these rounds right now. There we go. Okay, let's go grab that little ammo again. Huge, huge, huge. Okay, a little mangler in here. Dead. Nice, nice. Okay, there's another mangler. <laughs> See what I mean, dude? This is perfect for the opal grind. Just swap over to whatever gun you need opal for. Kill them, boys, and you're good to go. Back to the sallies. Back to hacking. Okay, let's come around here. Jeez, man. Just so satisfying. There we go. That's the last zombie there. Nice, nice, nice. Um, might just buy some extra ammo real quick. And let's get this thing a legendary rarity. There we go. Fully upgraded the Sally's already. That's wild. All right. Another spider round. Let's get this one over with real quick. Um, Almost feels like you'll have increased spider spawn rates in this corner here. That might just be placebo though. Yeah, probably. Yeah, definitely. Here we go, on to round 29, and we are 24 minutes in. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, can actually pay attention to the timer, see how long it takes us to get through this round here. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go, both Mangler is dead. Out of ammo though, let's quickly grab some more. Oh my god, dude, they just all piled up there. That's insane. Huge. Think there's one more. No? Is that it? On to round 30. Let's go. So that took us. Oh my god, dude. Literally 52 seconds. You're kidding me. There we go. <laughs> it's about a minute per round, bro. Wild. Of course, an Omega or anything. Megas might, you know, take a bit longer, but you don't need to kill those to get through the round. Still might, though. They're kind of annoying. There we go. Huge. Once again, try to avoid the nukes if you can. Just to maximize the amount of kills you're getting, because kills equals more XP. And there we go. On to round 31. So just open the zip right here. So that once you pop the exfil, you can just climb on top of here and take the zip back across. Just makes it easier. There we go. Let's call in that little exfil. Huge. Okay, climb up here. There we go. Also, if you don't have a chopper gunner, I'll actually show you guys a little strat here. That really helps out for solos if you're exfilling or if you're struggling with exfilling. So let's come up here. There we go. Then you just want to run across to this spot right here. And as you can see on that chandelier, that glowing thing, that's a nuke. So let's quickly shoot that. That's going to spawn in a nuke. Let's damage that abomination a little bit. Wait for some zombies to spawn in. There we go. Good amount here. Call in the nuke and just look at how many kills that got. Just 40 left to go. 34 zombies left to kill. It's not gonna, you know, completely kill them all, but, you know, might help out a little bit. We do have a chopper gunner which we could call in, but I think we can manage this with uh, just the sallies. Okay, let's go for some ammo. Oh my god, hold on. Never mind. <laughs> Let's go for some ammo. There we go. Almost went down there. Dying Wish just saved us. Okay. 10 seconds left. There we go. One second. 20 seconds. Come on. Abomination, you need to make that face glow, homie. There we go. We got him. Nice. Set that exfil. And there we go. Took us about 27 minutes and 10 seconds. Huge. So about a minute and a half quicker than the spawn strategy. Not bad at all. So it is a bit faster to get to round 31 with this. All right. Let's see how much XP we gained. 
Okay, there we go. 9,000. 37,499 XP for just 27 minutes of work. That's insane. You could even speed it up further if you're playing a bit more efficiently than I was there. Also, if you avoid more nukes, that's extra XP on top of it. Plus, once again, if you load in with a gun that you still need some camos for, like in my case, we need a bunch for the Marine SP, that's going to be a huge help. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this strategy. If it was helpful to you guys, then go ahead and hit that like button, comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to share your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are, and as always, goodbye.